This is the plaintiff, Allison Allen. She says she hired the defendant to pick her up after a medical procedure where she was sedated and the guy went crazy on her. That's right, he kicked her out of the car while she was still woozy from the anesthesia in the middle of the winter when it was 17 degrees below zero outside. She could have been robbed, raped, or even murdered due to the driver's actions and is suing the uncaring cad for $2,500 for punitive damages and lost wages. This is the defendant, William Yonke. He says this whole thing is one big mix-up because the cab the plaintiff got into was for another customer. Hers was still on the way, but the plaintiff made a huge stink. The driver asked her to get out so he could pick up his cash fare, and, well, here they are. He's sorry for the plaintiff's inconvenience, but she was in a safe area. Nothing happened to her, and he owes nothing. He's accused of kicking a woman to the curb. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You Allison me? Allen? Yes. You are suing Liberty Tax Company, um, doing business as Liberty Communications, Liberty Cab. William Yonke, you are the owner? Yes, yes, okay. I am, Your Honor. For $2,500 in punitive damages and lost wages because, according to you, they didn't do their job right. Tell me what happened. Okay, Your Honor. First, let me say it's a privilege and an honor to meet you. I watch you. you every day, twice a day. Thank you. Okay. Then you um, know that that doesn't mean I'm going to rule your exactly, way. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you watch um, me too, right? Yes. Every day, twice a day, whether you need me or not? Okay. Your Honor, ahead. before 9 11, I was a productive member of society with a very good job living in New York City. Unfortunately, after 9 11, I became disabled and I moved out of the city and moved to Niagara Falls. Did New 9 11 have something to do with your disability? Yes, it does. How? Uh, the, the, I, my job was three blocks from it, and I wound up um, breaking my ankle while I was running in the ash and everything. So um, I, I am hooked up with uh, an insurance company called WellCare, and they hire them to take Transport their clients them. to the doctors. Okay. Now, on February 18th, 2015, I had two doctor's appointments, one for my primary care physician, and one I had to take an MRI, but I had to have an open MRI, and I had to be sedated. So they said that the cab company had to sign a contract saying that after that is over with, they would be responsible to take me home. So I finished my MRI, the Medicaid cab pulls up, he comes in and he signs this because he, okay. they now, wouldn't release me unless, unless he went I in and had signed someone something. to drive me home. Got it. Okay. Are you with somebody at the time? Yes, I was with... Who were with, you with? I was with another neighbor of mine. He just rode with me because they also... Just to be with you. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you walk into his I cab. I get in the cab. And what happens? And the f my, my phone rings. And it's another driver. Another one of their drivers saying, Miss, you're in the wrong cab. And I said to the driver, I said, Sir, this driver is saying I'm in the wrong cab. So the driver went into rage. This is not your fare. This is my fare. And blah, blah, blah. So he pulls out. Wait, but you're not a fare because you're not paying for it. Right. I'm, so I'm, did you explain to the driver, listen, I'm, I'm not Medicaid paying. I'm Medicaid cab. Yeah. I'm Medicaid did you, cab. Did you, and obviously the other guy's telling him that. Right. Okay. So we pull off. He said, I got to get gas first because I live in Niagara Falls, New York. I don't live Wait, in Buffalo. Wait, who has to get gas? The first cab driver. With you in the car? With me in the car. Wait, so he, wait, 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 wait. Cab number number two, who's your real ride, the Medicaid ride, and they have to be qualified differently than a regular driver, yes, correct? They do. Yes, they do, Your Honor. As in how? We have to carry higher insurance. For and the Medicaid are, one. That's correct, for Medicaid work versus a cash fare. Right. And do they also have to undergo some testing? Yes, they do. Uh, that's different? Like what kind of testing? There's drug testing and okay. there's background checks. So cab number two, which is the Medicaid cab, drives into the parking lot and both cabs are in the parking lot, yes or no? At the time that the cab, the second cab pulled in the parking lot, the first cab is already pulling out. Uh, of the parking lot. Of the parking lot. Okay, which lot. means if he's pulling out, right. there he's in the parking lot. Right. Yes or no? Right. Okay. Yes. All right, so they're both in the parking lot. Right. Okay. 
Maybe I'm crazy, but why didn't this happen? When cab number two calls cab number one, why didn't you just get out of cab number one and go into cab number two? Because number one, I was under sedation, Your Honor. And number two, he says, no, she's not in the wrong cab. She's in the right cab. And That's were, my fare, but right, you know they that. They were bickering. I don't right. know. I, I'm, they're bickering back and forth. So he skeets out the parking lot. With you in the car. With me in the back seat. And your friend. And my friend, and he pulls. Is your friend here? Is that who's that? No, he's not the type of person that can talk oh. <laughs> in front of a, a, your okay. Honor. He all would right, never all right, come. all right, go ahead. Okay, so he pulls into a gas station. Where's the gas station? The gas station is somewhere a couple of streets down from the MRI place. Why doesn't he just allow you to go into the other cab? So he calls the base. Okay. He calls the base. He's screaming, he's hollering. I'm not going. I'm not going for this. I'm not going for this. Get out of my cab. At the ca at the gas station. At the gas station. How far is the gas station from the MRI? No clue. I was a little woozy. I was a little. I was a lot woozy. I said, "Sir, you really gonna put me out the cab? Get out of my cab now." So I got out of the cab, and I looked up, and I saw a right aid, and I walked. Now, Your Honor, it was 17 below zero outside. I walked into the Rite Aid, and I sat in the back of the Rite Aid and called them. It took them 90 minutes to send me another driver. And then when he came, he said, I'll take you for free, but he got to pay. He who? The person that was with me. See, when you call your insurance company. Wait, you got to be kidding me. No, the person who was with you had to pay when he's, if he's taking you home for free, the person just exists in the car. Right. So and I told him if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't give him $50. So he put me out the cab again. That did not happen. Yes, it did. So he must have thought about it because he pulled out and he turned around and he came back. Okay. And he said, you know what? I'll take you home. He'll be my guest. Okay. Well, so that's good. I was in pieces when I got home. My anxiety and my panic came back all over again. I couldn't talk on the phone or nothing until the 25th of February when I called the... Wait, um, what day was this? The this 18th was the of February? 18th. But, why, but, I mean, I'd be angry and I'd be mad at the service, but what? But what why did your anxiety... Like, what is it you mean? Your Honor, when he put me out of that cab under sedation, I didn't know where I was. I was in Buffalo, New York. He had me. I didn't know where I was... Anything could have happened to me. I could have got raped, robbed, murdered, anything. Okay. I called the insurance company and I filed a grievance. Okay, let me see the grievance, please. And this is also a letter from the doctor that I went there that day with my diagnosis. Previous to all the problems. Previous to all of that. Okay. So we wouldn't be here today, Your Honor, if Liberty Taxi had enough common decency to return my phone calls. I'm still waiting for him to call me. Really? Still waiting for them to How call me. How many times me. did you call? I called him at least six times and left messages. When you say him, what, did you have the specific name well, of somebody? Well, each time or? you call, a different person answers the phone. A different rude person, might I add. OK. Oh, yeah, they're were off the chain over there. Were you steamed on the phone? Maybe they, maybe they were a little afraid no, of you? No, then... I have respect. I have respect. What's going on? Well, Your Honor, uh, my witness has had conversations with the agency there that, that you see in front of you. Uh, I would like to have her come because she was really sure. in contact Talk to me. with What's her. What's going on? Afternoon. Um, some of the story. What does is make your job? Sense. Uh, I'm the accounts manager. I take care of all the accounts in the medical accounts and the transportation. I did receive the complaint. But what about what she says that she got taken to a gas station, dropped and the... I did, did that really that happen? That did happen, and what it was the cash with your cab. driver? Did you fire and that guy? Yes. Okay. He has been suspended. Okay. Which means he cannot work What's with us. What's suspended mean? Which means he cannot drive with us any longer. Doesn't because that mean fired? That's what it means. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Would you have been, like, kind of satisfied if you, if you'd heard that? If somebody called you and said, we're so sorry, he's been fired, he's a coupon for a free ride. Yes, I would have, Your Okay, Honor. go on. Yes, I would have. I and then I would. did receive the complaint from her company. She, in that... So now, it, wow, because no one calls a lady back. You're, this is your company. You own it, right? Y yes, Your Honor. Did somebody the, call her back? Did they say they did? The I assume you had a meeting and tried to figure out. This is the, fir I, the first time I heard of us <laughs> was when I uh, got the small claims... Really? Yes. So, but then after you get the small claim summons, do you sit down with your staff and say, did anybody get calls from her? Yes. And did they? 
Uh, well, through Tracy, there's been okay. communication. I didn't get an actual call. I did get the No, did the anybody at, that works at Liberty Taxi get a call? I, I have no knowledge of that. Uh, did she, were you calling the insurance company to complain or them? No, I called them first. I said, I would like to speak to your manager. And you left a message? And I left a message. Okay, and how many times did that happen? Just once? That happened six times. That happened six times? That happened six times. And then you went times. to the insurance company. Is anybody fessing up that they got these messages? Did you look at, like, as the owner of the company, did you look on the register to see how many times she called or anything like that? Uh, no, ma'am, because... Well, you probably should. Like, yeah. somebody's not responding to the customer because she's taking a lot of effort which means she's kind of angry. But in any event, so I, I think I know what happened. I don't understand, though, why the guy, well, neither do you, because that's why you fired him, takes her to the gas station, especially if he's still close, if he's not out and about. Was his believe, version that he was out and about? I believe he called the office, and it was verified that she was a Medicaid client, and she did need a different cab, and I think he was the situation, he was a little angry because... Yeah, but why does he... Th why, I, and I know, that's why he was it, it boggles the imagination that she's still at the MRI yeah. center and that he doesn't just let her out. Why does he take her with him to go get gas? You, you know, uh, Your Honor, in, in the month of February, it was really, really difficult. I mean, I, I transport almost 2,000 Medicaid trips a day. And, you know, and, and I do feel bad for this whole situation. Well, you should. If I knew about it. Okay, well, now you know about it. What are you going to do for her? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here, so... Uh, 17 below zero, and they're in a fair dispute. Can the cab driver throw her out of the cab? Uh, I believe so, because uh, if uh, the guy has to make a living. So if he... The guy has to make a living, but does it put her in peril to be standing out in the street 17 below? I mean, is that fair? I believe so. Because? Uh, she has to pay up or get out. Pay up or get out? You buy that? Pay up or get out? Yep. <laughs> so she, can see, she leaves the cab. How about 30 below? <laughs> You know I could just keep this up until you automatically freeze to death, right? Okay, going inside the courtroom. We automatically normally would issue a, a, uh, a gift card. A gift card? Yes. Wow. Well, okay, well, now I'm done skewering yeah. you. It's your turn. Yeah. Okay, Ms. Allen, you tell yes, me how having to wait an hour for a cab entitles you to $2,500. Because it ain't honor. gonna happen. You cannot watch me twice a day and think that's gonna happen, honey. But I know you like to do rough justice. Uh, yeah, but that $2,500 so, is a little ragged around the edges honor. for my taste. So if I were you, I would listen to the gift card. Because well, in a minute, I'm just gonna have to was rule. Thinking, Your Honor, huh? he, had, he had signed a contract saying that he would take me home. Listen carefully and to me. And he did not take me home. Listen to me. Eventually, they took you home. You had to wait too long for a cab. That's what happened. That does not translate to $2,500. So just hold, slow your roll a moment and let me hear what he would do if things had worked like they were supposed to and somebody had said, oh, that's awful, she's complaining. Here, get the call from the complaining customer. Like, what would you have done to smooth it over? We, we normally, you know... We, a gift card for how much? We normally issue $25 gift cards to anyone who has a little, any kind of little complaint. We do this all day okay. long. This is bigger, though, because it's bigger. she didn't just have and to wait. She got dropped off somewhere else. It was annoying, whatever else. But you else. said normal, you normally. So normally. Right. So what would you do in this one? <laughs> Ooh, I feel normally. like Money Hall again. What all would you right. do in this one? In this, I would go the face value of the trip. So you are offering her a $50 gift card to Liberty Tax. Absolutely. Okay. A gift card for who? Liberty Tax. No time at all, Your Honor, do I ever want to get in another Liberty okay. cab. It's and this is, my, this is my neighbor. He takes me I'm to the doctor fine. now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, now, if he said Walmart Applebee's. or something else Easy. like that, we might <laughs> talk about something. <laughs> but why would I want to get in his cab again? And that's her choice. <laughs> and that's your choice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, Ms. Allen, let me just explain to you a little something, something. Yes, Judge. Okay, it, it's not looking good for you. I, re I got you, Judge. Okay, so do you I want their you. $50 gift card for someone? Not for no Liberty Taxi. Okay, well, that's all you're going to get. So he do you want that or you want me to rule? And he's not doing that market. and I can't make him. Honey, I, he's not doing it and I can't make him. <laughs> he was doing that out of his own goodwill to kind of make this, you know, warm and fuzzy. But those are kind of your choices. Do you want to take his goodwill, which he might pull back any second now? <laughs> or, do you, or do you not want to take his goodwill and I'll just rule? It's however you want. No, you donate that card to, to a charity. Okay. All right, sounds good to me. All right, okay. based on what I've heard and for mm -hmm. the reasons I've explained, my mm -hmm. verdict is for the defendants. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, what you want, Kurt? <laughs> you are definitely not woozy now, is yeah, she? Yeah, I ain't woozy no, now. No, right next to her. Stand right next to her. Go ahead. You know what I want, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that was a little grimy right there. That was too much for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like for people to make light of putting people in dangerous situations, and they made light of it. Mm -hmm. It's okay, though. 
Well, it worked out. I mean, um, you could have taken the 50 and given it to somebody or whatever. Listen, you want. let him yeah. give it to charity. You'll yeah. see him right. again. You think? He got about seven people suing him. He ratchet. The weather was 17 below. All right. I know, people I know. We die, heard. People die in that type of weather. Yeah. They Understood. had a winter advisory. They told right. the dogs to stay in the house, people stay in the house. All right. what, what does he need to do now? You know how this works. Huh? Huh? Where, where are you going He needs now? to step off. Go around that corner. <laughs> yeah, Go around that corner. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? All right. All right. Step on in here. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Right now. Right next to me. Right here. What's, <laughs> what's your reaction to this old case here? I'm speechless. Uh, even though I'm here. I mean, yeah? we work very hard to transport people. We transport over a million people a year. Here's one. I yeah. think. I think that. It was a Well, how, how about the customer service uh, that you, you provided? Could you have handled her a little bit better? I think if I would have known from the driver, I would have reacted a little differently, uh, faster. Yeah. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, you know, in this case, the cab company was in the right, but if you have a dispute with the cab company, most of them are licensed, uh, you know, at least if they're legal, and you can always call that licensing agency. Sometimes they can work it out short of going to court. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.